Welcome to this tutorial for the remote script for Ableton Live Suite. Let's start with the installation. Once the folder is downloaded, open the remote script folder and place the X key folder in remote scripts, create the folder if needed, locate it in the user library folder of Live in your music or documents folder, depending on whether you are on Windows or Mac. Then open the favorite presets folder and place the X key folder in user library. It will be used to manage favorites on your X key to quickly load presets. For quick access, you can add this folder to the places section of the browser. You can rename the six folders, always keeping a number from one to six as the first character, and fill each folder with up to 61 presets named just like airplane seats. The six folders correspond to the six slider zones, and their positions match the keyboard keys. But before you can, and finally, go to Ableton settings, link tempo and MIDI section, select X key as a control surface, input, and output, and check all input and output boxes. Let's take a very quick tour of the keyboard. Here we will only briefly cover the basic functions already mentioned in the Getting Started video available in the description. So here, in Note mode, accessible by clicking on the button with two circular arrows, we still have octave buttons, the arpeggiator, and two redo buttons, record, and play stop. Very similar to the standalone mode of X-Key, holding the settings button lets you transpose the keyboard and change the behavior of the arpeggiator. Here you can change the tempo of live, tap tempo with short clicks, or toggle the metronome with a long click, change the root note, and scale. As usual, you can adjust keyboard brightness and key trigger threshold and set the MIDI clock output, USB, DIN, or both. As mentioned earlier, you can access your favorite presets from this menu, but also, like in standalone mode, set X key to MPE or classic MIDI, adjust the pitch bend range in semitones, and choose one of the eight layouts in memory, customizable via the X key app. Note that if you select a note layout, it will be tied to the selected track. When you are in note mode, the four encoders correspond to four parameters of the selected track's device. You can change the device by holding this button and clicking the keys at the bottom of the keyboard and select another group of four parameters with the slider. In this menu, you can also select a track or choose the previous or next one. Tap again to arm or disarm it or hold to display its score on the keyboard in note mode. With the encoders, adjust its volume, pan, and sends A and B, and you can click on it to reset a value. Click on this button to enter session mode. This menu allows interaction with four tracks at once and scenes, ideal for playing with four track stems, for example. Move the red frame horizontally with the slider and vertically with the up and down buttons. Like the previous menu, you can select an arm track this way. Trigger scenes with a click. Just like clips. Stop all clips on the track here. All clips here. Here you have buttons to enable and disable tracks and solo buttons. Click the first encoder to adjust the volume of the four tracks, the second for their pan and the third and fourth for their sense A and B. Advanced controls let you quickly add a track, a scene, or select, duplicate, or delete an element. Briefly tap this button to return to play mode. 
That's it. You now know everything you need to use the script with Xkey. If you have questions or thoughts, feel free to leave a comment below or discuss on our Discord or forum. And we can't wait to see what you'll create. Don't forget to tag us in your projects. See you soon.